So I'm here for uh, the Clarion Knowledge Center for Linguistic Diversity and Language Documentation, uh, the CKLD. Um, the CKLD is a distributed uh, case center um, that has been in existence since 2018. Um, we are a joint uh, project or a joint center of seven partners uh, from yeah from two countries mostly germany but also uh, the uk and uh, we joined forces as six partners to uh, to, uh, to um to start the center and then later on uh, the seven partner uh, joined us and uh, as a distributed center, we would be also still be open if someone says like, that's exactly our uh, area of expertise, uh, we would be quite happy uh, to join the center. Um, so our main topics are, as the name of the center suggests, linguistic diversity and language documentation. And with linguistic diversity, uh, we mean the global linguistic uh, diversity of, of human languages um, as it is studied in, in linguistic typology and with uh, language comparison methods um, and uh, in various types of, yeah, as represented in various types of resources. One of the very typical resources are typological databases, but also a, a speech corpora of of smaller and underrepresented uh, languages. And um, the other main focus of expertise is language documentation, uh, a research and never inside linguistics that has been around for 30 odd years now. And um, that is the, and, and uh, yeah, the endeavor to create uh, multimedia corpora of in particular endangered languages. Um, so we are dealing with audiovisual data, um, linguistic field work and language archiving. So archiving of uh, linguistic researches, uh, resources in particular, again, from endangered languages. And as a consequence, um, the beyond these two linguistic research topics, um, the competence center has some expertise in minority languages, uh, endangered languages, uh, uh, under-resourced and under-researched languages um, because of the way researchers in particular from language documentation work. We also um, uh, address the community and have uh, competency in, in language community involvement and participatory research because those are very important when you're dealing with uh, you know, marginalized communities speaking endangered languages and because of the general competence uh, um, profiles of the member uh, institutions we also have some expertise in, in multilingualism the uh, the actual partners in the uh, the case center are the endangered language archive uh, uh, at soas in london the soas world languages institute obviously also from soas uh, the data center for the humanity at the university of cologne that's my home institution that's a research data management um, competence center with a focus on audio also also like one of our uh, areas of expertise are audiovisual uh, speech data, uh, data in particular from endangered languages. Um, this comes from a cooperation with the Department of Linguistics in Cologne, which has a research focus on language documentation and linguistic uh, typology, and the Department of Linguistics is also part of the case center. Then we have the Hamburg Center for Language Corpora. Um, a Claren B Center and the INEL project, which is a, a long running and with long running, and we're talking about 18 plus years, um, a project of the Academy of Sciences and Humanities in Hamburg with a focus on grammatical descriptions, corpora, and language technologies for indigenous Northern Eurasian languages. So uh, covering mostly. Um, Arctic languages from from Scandinavia and and Russia. 
um, well, mostly Russia. And uh, the uh, later addition to the center is the Leibniz Zentrum Allgemeine Sprachwissenschaft in, in Berlin, which wasn't as a Leibniz Center in existence when we started the, um, uh, the CKLD and which joined us uh, later. Um, as activities, one of the main activities are consultations. We help researchers um, with any questions regarding language uh, diversity and language documentation uh, research, uh, try to connect them to researchers of particular languages if we can't help them uh, directly. So one of the problems obviously with trying to cover global linguistic diversity is you don't have all expertise in-house, but you tend to know people who might help people. So we are see ourselves also as a hub to, to basically guide people to the right uh, resources. And we do that first uh, via the CKLD help desk, which is a help desk infrastructure running on the Clarendon uh, um, infrastructure. And also via um, consultation workflows uh, via the individual partner institutions. So, so as a uh, as the data center for the humanities, we do consultations for researchers as the DCH uh, because they approach us as a research data management uh, center. But this is like cover still covering like. The, the activity of the uh, Clarence Center, obviously, we can when it is the same. Um, partner institutions uh, uh, or member institutions of this, uh, the Knowledge Center do uh, trainings, for example, field methods trainings are regularly conducted by the Department of Linguistics in Cologne or by the Endangered Language Archive in, uh, in London, and we do Co uh, collaborate on those activities. Um, the ELA also has in-country language documentation training in countries with high um, linguistic diversity uh, with a lot of under-researched languages. And um, we also, uh, as a case center, collaborate on that. So I personally have uh, been part of in-country trainings of ELAR in, in China and in, in, in India. Um, so we kind of help each other out there. And then for ex we also have like more technical training. So for example, the HATS is kind of Hamburg regularly holds Exmeralda trainings for Exmeralda, the annotation software for audio or audiovisual data. We also um, collaborate in, research, in the research area. Um, the most visible uh, collaboration is the Quest project that is a project funded by the German Ministry of Education. So only the German um, um, institutions are part of that project, but um, um, because the, the head of the uh, ELAR is, has recently also been um, a guest researcher as SAS, even Ela is is uh, is involved in that research project, and that is a project uh, addressing quality standards for audiovisual language data, which is the main data type. Annotated audiovisual language data is the main data type for language documentation, and uh, furthermore, we we also regularly have joint publications where two or more. Um, centers uh, join in, in publishing things. So for example, uh, the ELAR and, and the DCH recently published a paper on um, best practices for uh, audiovisual data in, in language documentation and field linguistics, which directly distributes the, the core, uh, yeah, core knowledge we have as a case center in publication. As an audience, we address first and foremost um, uh, definitely uh, linguists and other researchers in interested in endangered and minority languages. So they sometimes also have contract with anthropologists or other related um, uh, disciplines. Um, we, as a case center, not so much, but 
via the member organizations when we go into like something like the the in-country trainings in in china or in india or there was also one in africa where i wasn't part of um um we also have contact with the uh, the language communities or speakers from from minority and endangered languages and we also address uh, their needs and less prominently but still still important for us are also educators uh, that are working with endangered and uh, minority languages who might have needs for resources like audio data from those languages or something like that um, yeah that's the clarin uh, knowledge center linguistic diversity and language documentation thank you mm -hmm.